twice in a row. Three straight years, yeah, praise yeah, out of the road. First thing, tell it out when I make a scene. Atlanta, 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 At
You're probably saying, Ak, why the fuck are you saying this to us? We don't care. Okay, I'm trying to make y'all care. Um, A 30-city tour, right? A 30-city tour. I don't know how many cities. Does it say up here? How many cities? City tour. I don't want to count up city. It's, it's definitely more than 30 cities, though. You can tell, right? And then it goes international in um, October. This is a big tour. The point of what I'm trying to say is this. Young boy is hot. Could young boy do a tour that's this expansive? I think possibly, and I think yes. I wouldn't know because I don't know how much his fans are willing to see him everywhere. I think in LA he could do the forum. I think if he's in New York, I think he could he could do um um Madison Square Garden. No, 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 no. let me see what, what's Madison Square Garden. Let me see. I'm trying to be realistic. If Kendrick did 12,000 at the Barclays, he could do 12,000. You know what I mean? But one night. I don't think he's doing two nights of that. I don't think he's doing two nights of that. Also, here's the thing, too. This is the thing about a tour, and and hopefully I'm not boring the fuck out of y'all, but, you know, just trying to give y'all more info and details. Yo, if you go to see Kendrick Lamar's show, bro, just like I've seen, I've gone to see Drake's show, I've gone to see The Weeknd's show, bro, like, also, um, 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 Tyler Creator, when you're getting people to pay, um, there's pre you got to pay premium prices. Just, just like he's not getting to the Barclays charging twenty five dollars a ticket. To be very clear, it won't be thirty dollars a ticket. It's probably going to be a hundred dollars a ticket for some eh, seats. You want to be on the floor with Young Boy? It's probably going to be hundreds of dollars. Will his fan base pay that? That's the question I think has to be has to happen. They give him a lot of attention online, but will they pay that consistently um, for for this tour? Now, what goes in his favor, he doesn't tour much. Doesn't tour much. People have never seen him perform. Going back to me saying that I've seen Kendrick, Drake, this, 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 and third, these guys have a show. One thing I'll say about Dirk, I don't think Dirk has gotten there yet, and I don't think Youngboy has gotten there yet, but Youngboy just hasn't toured. Dirk, I've seen uh, um, do a bunch of shows. There's no performance value with what Dirk is doing. You know what I mean? In terms of that's good for like a 5,000 venue. You just come out and do your songs. When you're doing a fucking arena, my nigga, you, you need to have some flashing lights get lifted in the air. Bro, people want to be amused, my nigga. Like, you're in a big fucking arena. Like, niggas don't just want you walking across the stage, sagging your pants, halfway singing your songs. Like, that's not going to do it. Not at an arena. You need to, like, first of all, the production that you're going to have to pay for to get in those venues, you don't want to just go in there and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to just come in high as hell, my pants sagging, and I'm going to just halfway perform these songs. As I said, granted, most people ain't Kendrick. Nigga, Kendrick is doing a fucking lot. <laughs> this nigga Kendrick is doing all type of shit, playing the piano. This nigga on some other shit, like, like doing dances, he's doing everything. He's performing, performing. You could tell clearly Kendrick had to go through weeks of rehearsal to 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 get his his uh, um thing like you know down packed. He does this thing with a puppet to start out. This is the puppet thing right here. Yeah, he has all these people who are always in the show. You get what I mean? It's just it's it's fully. It's meant to fully entertain and bring life to the music. He plays the piano with a puppet right there. He sits with the puppet later on. Look, he stands with it, and then he sits with it. And the puppet is, like, talking. I don't know if he's controlling it, but it seems like it is. I know y'all might be like, yeah, this is kind of easy, but there's there's perfor there's per performance, performance and production values with this shit. You feel me? The pyrotechnics is all that type of shit. It's different than a nigga just walking on stage like, yo, I remember listening to Dipset. Like, brother, like, that's going to be cool. But when 14 or 12,000 people came to see you, nigga, they want a little bit more, especially if it's a tour. Okay. So, oh, and by, oh somebody says check Cardi. Yeah, Cardi's tour is, is, is produced like a motherfucker. Cardi's tour? Let's look at Cardi's. Playboy. Cardi tour. Look, like you, you could tell, like he still has the the essence of what he does, raging and shit like that. 
but there's a lot of production value. There's there's guitarists, there's this, there's that, there's a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Um I'll look up his tour numbers in a second. Playboy Cardi tour. Oh, actually, I'll look it up now. These are the dates. Are you coming to rolling loud, people? Well, this was this is a narcissist tour, right? Let me view all. Let me see if I can find. I'm trying to. Okay. So these are the venues he was doing, right? Yeah. This. this is a tour, right? Or is it another one? I look at Playboy Cardi. I don't think his stats is posted on his. Uh, you, you'll be able to see it on like. There's many like companies that track tours. So if it's not on here, headline in the King Vamp Narcissist Tour. Let's look at that. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's just look at the venues he's doing. Municipal Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. Municipal Auditorium, Nashville, capacity. Capacity, 10,000. Okay, so that's like probably 8,000, 8, 7,000. That's still pretty big. I think he did some arenas, not all arenas. Technically, you wouldn't call that an arena. Bojangles Coliseum in, in Charlotte. Let me see what that is. Bojangles Coliseum capacity, 86. Okay, so, so these aren't necessarily arenas. Let me see if I can find an arena. Um, NRG Arena in Houston, Texas. Let's see. NRG Arena in Houston capacity. Okay, so yeah, he's not doing the, the, the like the like the big basketball joints. You feel me? He's doing amphitheaters. Okay, that makes sense. He did do the forum. I see the forum right here. See, we we googled the forum already. But obviously, LA is a big market. Let's see what he does in Arizona. Mesa Amphitheater. Mesa Amphitheater capacity. Okay, okay. Yeah, like that's. I wouldn't think that's a big ass market. That's why I looked up that. Um, let me look what else. Memorial Civic Center in Ohio. That's a good one to look up. Memorial Civic Center, Ohio. Capacity. 5,200. Okay. I guess they have like soccer games or some shit. Hartford, Connecticut, uh, Excel Center. Let me see. Excel Center. Capacity. Oh, this shit big. This is this this shit's big. Sixteen thousand, that's big. That one's big. Uh where else? Where else? Where else? Toronto, Ontario, Coca-Cola Coliseum. Let me see. Coca-Cola Coliseum capacity. Let me see how this is looking. Eight thousand. Okay. So he does a lot, he does the venues that the hockey teams would do. Damn, he did Barclays? He did Barclays. He did Barclays Center. That's dope. He did DC Armory. How much does, does that hold? DC Armory capacity. 10,000? Okay. Atlanta State Farm Arena. Let me see. State Farm Arena, Atlanta. That's his home though, right? Capacity. Yeah, that's his home. That's why it says 21,000. Wait. I fuck it up. Yeah. Capacity 21,000. Make sure I can see it. 21,000. All right. Anyway, 
Yeah, that's good for Cardi. That's good for so essentially Cardi's selling way more tickets than the baby. That's that's I guess that's the point I was trying to say. He's not doing exactly like a Kendrick Lamar tour, but he's doing a mid a, a, a mid level Kendrick Lamar tour. Like who could go on a tour like Kendrick Lamar? The Drakes, um, Tyler Tyler the Creator, J Cole, um, Travis Scott. Clearly, did I say Travis before? No. Yeah, those people. So if you ask me, I think I, th I think I think Cardi's tour might be closer to what. What um, young boy could probably feasible do feasibly do? I'm not even gonna lie to you. What I hear though is that he's getting offered half a million per show. I heard that offers that came in is offering him half a million dollars per show, and most of that is driven by the fact that he doesn't perform at all. It's probably the only time they could get him in those in those cities. He ain't going to do after parties and shit. The bill goes up when you're not a hoe for, you know, you know what I mean? Like the niggas who, who are, who are in New York every other week or every other month doing a show or doing a club hostings. Like, yeah, the, your booking fee ain't going to be that high. The nigga who never performs, but it's hot on the charts. Yeah. The fee's going to go up. That's how it goes. All right. I don't want to sit here and just analyze tours all fucking day. That's part of kind of what we do a little bit, but not not all the time. All right.